morning everyone good morning in today's class we are going to discuss some very very important topics from our lesson so everyone please flip your textbooks to page number 38 i'll also tell you a couple of questions that might come for your exam so everyone please note it down and uh, Hello everyone, it's Preeksha here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'd like to confront a fear of mine and not just mine, I feel all students have faced this right before your exams or most commonly in the month of March, right before that final exam. So this is called an exam fever. You know that situation where you feel very anxious or depressed or just enormous stress from your parents, your teachers, your loved ones, your neighbors and just everyone that's around you. And you're right in the middle of it. You're in the spotlight. And in an effort to get good grades and good marks, you just forget to think about yourself. Right? I get it because even I have been in that situation and it's just really stressful and almost impossible for you to think normally or think rationally. You have been in that situation, haven't you? At least once. So I'm guessing most of you reply to that question with a yes because it's completely normal to be anxious or just nervous right before your exams because your teachers expect you to write everything that you've learned throughout the year onto a piece of paper. And it becomes quite difficult to manage, right? Last minute, everything, and you're panicking. Just think about it. Just assess yourself. Is this how you were before your exams? Were you nervous? Were you panicking? Were you anxious? And think about yourself right now, in the present moment, during your exams. It's quite the opposite. You become unhappy and all of your work just seems very chaotic and unorganized. And because of those long hours of studying and learning the same thing over and over again, you just seem to lose interest in it and it seems boring. And then you find yourself in a situation where you have to force and keep forcing yourself to get back up and study again. This is when you know you've taken quite a hit. So what you need to do is, you need to take a step back, relax and take a deep breath. So this is what today's video is about. So I'd like to share with you a couple of tips that help me overcome procrastination and organize my thoughts and stay productive and most importantly, keep myself mentally, physically and emotionally well and happy. And I believe these tips might help you guys as well. And here they are. So the first one would be journaling. So journaling is a practice in which you write down all of the tasks that you want to complete in a day. So it's basically just a to-do list if I say so in simple words. So journaling has really helped me organize my day and get those little tasks done and it's easier to remember, easier to recollect those things. And uh, obviously you have to complete all of the tasks. So uh, initially, uh, do start out with the small things if you want to organize bigger tasks that would really help if you start it small. So the second one would be to reach out to your friends. Connect with your friends because during exams, it can be very stressful not only for you but also for your friends. So talking to them or just having a little chat with them might loosen you up a bit and take that exam stuff off of your mind. Also, I had an incident like this a week before my exams. I was having 
having a very hard time trying to understand the concept of a subject so i reached out to one of my friends and she was more than happy to help me and i was surprised because the way she explained those things to me i was able to understand much better than it was explained in class so you don't know where help can come from if you're feeling down or if you're just not able to understand or you're just feeling a little helpless during your exams reaching out to your friends is one of the best things that you can do. so my third tip would be to take adequate breaks so don't go ahead and study continuously for several hours because as i said earlier that would cause you to get bored and then procrastinate which we do not want so what you could do is you could study for 10 minutes and take a 5 minute break and then study for another 10 minutes and that process keeps repeating so this way you could cover a lot more of your portion in a very less time and in a much better way because that 5 minute break really refreshes you up but however do not use your phone or you could do something like go get some water or just a snack or go out for a walk because that would help you to uh, think of those things or just remember those things that you just learned a while ago but then if you use your phone that causes you to get distracted and you think about a lot more things when you're using your phone so yeah and also don't forget to hydrate i do not think i have to say this separately because it is very important water is very important and people still don't drink enough water that sort of includes me so do hydrate communicate and take breaks when you're studying to ace your exams and don't forget to think about your mental health because it is way more important than anything else and i do hope you guys like this video don't forget to share subscribe and like my video and i'll see you guys in another one catch you later bye bye and this is me preeksha praveen signing off